Værsgo. I am Hanneliese Inghoff and uh, I'm a Danish artist. I am painting and I've done other techniques as well. Uh, I have had another background, uh, academic background, but I have never been able not to do art. So that's a necessity for me uh, to express how I feel about the world and uh, to use some techniques to try and uh, communicate that to people. Uh, and uh, the, the style of that has changed over the years, of course. I started out being figurative uh, as a child and a teenager and a young one. Uh, and uh, I drew, pencil drew, and I did uh, lino cuts and lino printings. And uh, then after high school, I went to university and uh, had some studies for some years, but also went into history of art. And that's the first time ever that uh, I had technical uh, teaching, painting, drawing, etc., etc., etc. After the history of art, I went to Paris to see uh, the big museums, which is not so evident in Denmark. Uh, so uh, I needed to take another extra course. So I went to the Centre Américain, where they had a teacher called Lucio Lubé. Uh, and there I learned how to do etching and uh, printing uh, in several colors on one plate, which is a specific, special uh, technique. After three years in Paris, uh, I came back to Denmark. And uh, after some time, I couldn't uh, go on uh, doing my uh, etching and printing because of the toxicity of the materials. So I had to find other ways and other expressions. So from being Bauhaus uh, influenced from Lucio Lubé, uh, I went uh, into printing embossed, slightly embossed uh, pieces of uh, paper and afterwards coloring them and uh, using color pencils as well. After that, uh, some years later, there was an Italian master that came to Copenhagen and uh, he taught uh, leather masks, the technique of the uh, ancient leather masks of Italy, and also how to make sculpture in leather. And that attracted me because leather wasn't toxic. So uh, I signed up for that, and that uh, led to some years where I was actually uh, making leather masks for modern dancers, for actors, for musicians, for people who wanted to push their psychological barriers a little further, but not fall into the abyss. And after many years of that, which was very hard on the hands, I changed from working on the leather to making the masks in papier-mâché. And that papier mâché uh, has sort of come back to me and the thought of the masks, etc. So now I'm experimenting with little forms of uh, papier mâché that I want to incorporate in my collages. The expression of my uh, paintings have changed. They have become less strict, less geometric and uh, they are more fluid. Uh, there are not so many straight lines anymore, but it's still about the relation between the weight and the direction of the different uh, elements in the paintings. So that's more or less what I do, and uh, who knows what will happen, because if I find another new interesting material, I'm 100% certain that I'll test it out. I might not use it, but uh, I'm open for experiments.